Well, I just saw one of the greatest movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, let me point this out now. I actually read the book freshman year. I'm a senior right now. Um, I feel like most people in my grade, like my high school, don't even know it's based on a book. Which is really stupid and makes me mad. Uh, and the people who do, a lot of people are kind of lying and say they've read the book. But, like, when you talk to them about it, they clearly don't know what they're talking about. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't try to be that way usually where I'm like, oh, you have to read the book to get it. But it's like, don't don't lie and say that you read the book. And you should at least know it's based on a book. It's a pretty well-known book. Um, anyway, so it, uh, first of all, let me point out the main difference here is that in the, the main difference right now is that in the book, it went one chapter as kids, one chapter as adults, one chapter as kids, one chapter as, I don't remember if it started off then adults or kids or not, it's been freshman year. But uh, it just went in a pattern like that usually. Sometimes they would change mid-chapter. Sometimes they would go a couple chapters without changing. But it would just be flashback, flash forward, flashback, flash forward. This one, they're doing an entire movie dedicated to the kid area when they were kids. And then they're going to do a sequel in a few years that's had... Uh, it's not going to do the same actors as adults. It's just going to have different actors playing the adult edition of them in a few flashbacks to cover up anything they missed in the child era. Um, it was amazing. They, they had to leave out a few scenes. There's a few scenes that they couldn't put in there. Like, um, it's a little bit gross. In the, uh, even though the characters are sixth graders in the book, they have to have sex at some point to, like, prove they're adults, prove that they have no reason to be scared of him. Yeah, they couldn't make middle school actors do that. That would be illegal, so they couldn't put that scene in it. Uh, it makes sense in the book. I know it sounds gross because they're middle schoolers, but, you know. But, yeah, that'd be illegal for the director to force the actors to do that as kids. Um... So that scene didn't make it. There's a few other scenes that are just, like, a little bit too much, I guess. Like, uh, there's a scene in the book where they have to go into this smokehouse to, like, see visions of where it might be and stuff. And, like, where he came from. Uh, but, you know, that stuff like that's a little bit complicated. Um, so they just didn't really feel like making movie watchers see that when they might not understand it. Uh, and most, for the most part, though, okay, also they change it from the 50s to the 80s, so that way, uh, when the adult one comes out, which will take tw place 27 years after, uh, it will be in present time, instead of being, them both taking place in the past. Um, yeah, amazing movie, uh, really terrifying. It moves around, like, a cartoon character a lot of time, like, in very weird moments. Um, really cool movie. Uh, a lot of people were saying, oh, I don't like horror movies, so I couldn't see it. It is so much more than a horror movie. The book and the movie are more about friends and growing up and losing your childhood and having to overcome that. It's hardly... I'm sorry, most horror movies are garbage. They're just, let's kill people for an hour and a half with no logic and hardly any actual writing and stuff. It's so much different. Do not compare this to a horror movie. This is, this is a masterpiece of a book and a masterpiece of a movie, and it's going to have another sequel. It's even, probably even better. Um... Yeah, and there are also, like, a, probably a few small references to other Stephen King stuff, because he likes to reference himself. Because Stephen King, the book, kind of, uh, he had, like, his own universe, I guess. Kind of like Marvel and DC are doing now. Not together, but separate. Um, where, like, just Stephen King stuff interacts a lot. Um, they almost all take place in Derry, Maine. Which is where it takes place. Um... Overall, just amazing movies, great special effects, great writing, great characters, great acting. Bill Wol I mean Finn Wolfhard plays Richie Tozer in it. Richie Trashmouth Tozer. And he's hilarious. He uh like this movie has great comedy, so does the book. Um at one point he goes you know, I'm not gonna say the line. I I'm it's a very dirty line. He says a bunch of bad stuff. Uh at one point when the fat the fat kid, Ben, who's a very also good actor gets like part of his like stomach ripped a little bit and he's like this dude is practically leaking out hamburger helper like i'm like whoa that's <laughs> mean but it's funny um at one point eddie because eddie has an overprotective mom it's like his main thing is that his mom basically thinks he's always sick and needs help at one point his mom while they're leaving the house his mom makes him kiss her on the cheek and then richie looks over and he's like you you want me to do the same thing or you want one for me too and really great movie um, Beverly, Ben, Bill, Eddie, Stan, Mike, and Richie were all amazing. They are the main, they're the losers club. And, uh, you gotta love all the characters. They're just very interesting. Even Stan, which I'm not gonna give away spoilers, but, 
let's just say Stan might, the sequel, if you really like Stan, you might be a little bit upset because stuff happens to him as an adult. Uh, Henry Bowers was freaky. Henry is their bully. And he is a few years older than them. They're middle school level. He's about like freshman or sophomore age. Uh, he did not look like in this movie, to be honest. He kind of looked like he was just starting college. But whatever. Uh, he, they say 15. Um, oh my gosh. They didn't have him say any racial slurs. Because usually he makes fun of Mike for being black. Because he's a huge racist. But he does say a few things like, Get out of my town and stuff. Which he says it at Mike. So I'm assuming that means because he's black. But um, Henry's just pure evil. Like he is an evil, evil kid. And he wants to murder these guys. He he was like that in the book. Um, Henry's friends are also pretty freaky. They don't... In the book, Patrick, uh, one of Henry's friends, like, they mention what goes on in his head, and he's convinced that he's, like, the only living thing in the universe. Everyone else is just robots and stuff. And that's why he killed his little brother. He killed his baby brother by, like, suffocating him because he just didn't think he mattered. And he's like, I don't want my parents' attention on him. They don't go over that, but, I mean, that'd be one of those things kind of hard to explain in the movie. Um... But man, they also don't have a scene of him torturing a cat. They have the scene where Henry almost shoots a cat. Um, now, as I was saying, it's not really a horror movie, but it's scary. It is scary, but the main focus is not in the horror. But it is scary. <laughs> uh, so much happens with Freaky. Like I said, it moves around like a cartoon character a lot of time. You have very, just like, movements are weird and that Freaky. Um, at one point, it, like, takes the face of like a of a uh of a painting that scared stan i think it was stan was it stan that was scared by it or was it eddie no it was stan it was definitely stan that was scared of the painting because it happened in a church and stan a jewish and it was a jewish church yeah um and it, it's freaky he has like the teeth and um not a spo this part's not me a spoiler even this character dying because anyone who knows anything about the story that knows that georgie dies near the beginning and that's like the main thing that keeps bill going because georgie with his brother he's gonna kill that clown he took his brother from him. He's going to take him down. Um, when George, when it kills Georgie in this book, I mean this movie, it's intense. He 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 does the typical, like, hiya, Georgie stuff, like where he's trying to convince him to come into the sewer with him. And then when he reaches his hand into the sewer, immediately it's like teeth, like unhinge. And he has all these sharp teeth. He just clamps down, tears the boy's arm off. Remember, the actor and the boy are like five years old. Like he's like clawing, crawling away from the sewer, like crying, and it's just a hand reaches out and drags him in. And I, that's when I was like, oh my god. This movie's about to get real intense. Apparently they cut out a scene from the book where it kills a three-year-old in the bathtub. Because they filmed the scene and they were just like, no, that, that's too much. But I'm like, then this made it in? <laughs> um, I get that though, because having a three-year-old die in your movie, even if it's a horror movie, can kind of be a little bit controversial. Like I was saying, the same thing with the scene where they prove they're adults. That had to be cut out, cause even though it means a lot. Not, not child appropriate. There were a lot of children there, in the theater. That's not okay. People don't take your children to see it. What are you thinking? You're almost a dad of people who took their children to see Deadpool. No, actually, Deadpool had a like major sex montage. Uh, never mind. This it's still pretty bad, but no, no, we're close to the bad. Taking your little kids to see Deadpool or it. How stupid are people? Where well, you think that's okay? Yeah, there's like a lot of little kids in the theater. It's super weird. Also, I tried, uh, you guys may know Bark's Root Beer. Apparently, they have like cream soda now, or at least I haven't seen it before. It was really good. It was like old-fashioned soda, though, so it was kind of a little bit sour, but I liked it. And normally, I don't like that, but it was good. Anyway, it gets an 11 out of 10 because it's beyond perfect. It's amazing. Uh, I love at the end when it says, when it goes from it to it chapter one, because that means we're getting more. And this movie made um, like um, over a hundred million or something on like its first like weekend. So that's really good. Even by movie standards, it's a lot of money. Especially if it's a horror movie. A lot of people avoid horror movies. That, like I said, not really a horror movie, but you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, that's my review of it. Um, also, I just want to say now, don't be going around saying it is the movie about the clown, because I hate when people say that. It is an alien demon. It, I mean, it's, it's argued over what, by the fans if it's an alien or a demon. We know it comes from space. We know it also has some demonic qualities. I mostly, time, most of the time, go by demon. But, you know, but a lot of people think it's just a clown that killed people. A lot of people haven't seen it yet or read the book. It's not. A clown is one of its forms. Pennywise the dancing clown is one of its forms. Its main form is the one that uses the most, but that's not its true form. Um, in fact, it mentioned the final, I'm not going to say what the final form is, but it mentions in the book that if it showed us its real form, we couldn't see it. Human brains cannot comprehend it. Uh, 
it would be just a blur to us because our brains are not powerful enough to handle the true vision that is it. Um, but anyway, that's my review. Talk to you later. Bye.